Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll pair my Samsung Galaxy Watch Active 2 to my brand new iPhone SE 2020 and show you what options you get as well as show you if we can get all the notifications and call. So let's get started. If you're someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for very smart watches like this one, smartphone reviews, tech tutorials and much more. We have a dedicated playlist with 31 plus videos for Samsung smartwatches where you'll find more detailed videos like this one so be sure to check it out. So I have this latest iPhone SE 2020 with which I have started a series of videos where I will connect and show you all the options with various non-Apple smartwatches like this Galaxy Watch Active 2 as well as show you which features you are missing out versus the Android phone. So stay tuned by subscribing you'll find the playlist with 31 plus videos for Galaxy Watch Active 2 which I will be referencing throughout this video and it is linked at the end of this video and also check out the review of this latest iPhone SE 2020 linked up here once you're done watching this one. Now unlike the Android or Samsung smartphones, with iPhones you do not have to download two apps separately like the Galaxy Store app from which you can download apps, games and watch faces. Secondly the Galaxy Wearable app from where you can connect your Active 2 to the smartphone. For iOS devices you only have to download the app named Samsung Galaxy Watch. Now there is another app named Samsung Galaxy Fit which is for Samsung fitness trackers like Galaxy Fit, Gear Fit, etc. So make sure you download the Galaxy Watch, which will be for the Samsung smartwatches like the Active 2, Active 1, Gear Sports, Galaxy Watch, etc. Now the pairing process was pretty straightforward, just like as on an Android phone, for which I have done a video, it's linked up here, which you can check it out once you're done watching this one. However, if you are pairing the Active 2, to a different smartphone then the process is not straightforward like in my case I wanted to connect my Active 2 from my Samsung S10 Plus to my iPhone SE 2020. Both these apps will be with my same Samsung account so I expected it to be quick and simple but apparently it was not. In such case you have to go in the settings of your watch, scroll all the way down to find connect to a new phone option. Once you click on it, your watch will reset. That is, all the downloaded apps, games and watch face will be gone. But don't worry, the stored music and images will not be removed. An important tip I'll give you guys over here will be to go in the Bluetooth settings of the previously connected phone and make sure to either forget or remove the Active 2 from that phone to avoid any issues. After which the process is pretty self-explanatory, just follow the instructions on the screen and you'll be done in less than 5 minutes. Now since I had the same Samsung account on both the smartphones, I was able to get all the downloaded apps, games and watch face from the My App section. Even the watch faces and the apps for which I had to pay will also be available to download, so that's a nice feature. I have done videos for all these apps you, you can see here which you can find in the playlist linked at the end of this video. Now that being done, let's quickly review this Galaxy Watch app and at the end I'll show you if I am able to get notifications and calls. Now I feel that Active 2's best experience will be with a Samsung smartphone. As you can see there are few op important features like the Samsung Pay is completely not available on the watch if you were to pair it up with an iPhone. At least that's the case with me. The quick glance to your health stats from the mobile app via the Samsung Health is not an option if paired with an iPhone. You can still access your fitness data from the Samsung Health app on your watch. Smart Things, which is my favorite as I have a Samsung TV and few appliances and I was able to control my Samsung TV directly from my watch but since I paired it up with an iPhone, I'm missing out on it. The widgets customization directly from the mobile app is no longer available if you were to pair the Active 2 with an iPhone. However, don't worry, you can still customize widgets but from the watch only. The emergency SOS option is also not available on the watch if you were to pair the Active 2 with an iPhone. Now the differences aside, rest of the features are pretty much the same. Like you will see your connected watch with the battery level and an estimate of how long the battery will last on the main dashboard. When you click on the top right button, 
you will get options to connect to a new watch, user manual and contact us. Next is notifications. Make sure to turn this on. If not, you will not receive any notification. You can access the block notifications from here if you have blocked any from your watch. You can also select to turn the screen on when you receive a notification alongside auto show details and the notification indicator. Under notifications, you'll find apps where you can auto update them. I have selected using Wi-Fi only to avoid data overage charges. Auto update notifications wherein you will get notification for all the apps which has an update available. Now you can change the rotary view of the menu layout to a list view which I will never do as it's my favorite. Next is the auto open apps. You can even reorder apps in the menu directly from the mobile app. You can also uninstall watch faces available on the Active 2 directly from the mobile app. And lastly it's the weather where you can also go in the settings and change the units and update weather settings from every hour to every 24 hour depending on your personal preference. Under apps you will find sounds and vibrations where you can change the sound mode, volume, vibration intensity, ringtone, activate touch sound. Under the sounds you will find display where you can adjust brightness, turn on auto low brightness, manage screen timeout, show last app and background styles. Next is advanced where you can find double press home key shortcuts which is Bixby in my case but you can change it to whatever you want from here. Under which is the touch bezel which I will never turn off as that is what I really like of my Active 2. You also get screen wake options like wake up gesture, touch wake up, water lock mode which is to prevent the wake up gesture and touches when you are in swimming. Touch sensitivity in case if you are wearing a glove or you have a screen protective case on. Next is do not disturb mode, theater mode, good night mode and edit quick settings which by the way is the drop down menu on the watch. Now going back under the advanced settings you will find add content to your watch like music tracks which you can't do from the iPhone unlike an Android phone. So for an iPhone you have to do it from a laptop or a computer for which I have done a separate video linked up here in case you guys wanna check it out once you're done watching this one. However you can transfer images directly from your iPhone to the Active 2 from here. By the way the transfer process is super fast. Next it's the find my watch so in case if you misplace your watch you can ring it from your phone which is super handy feature and you can also find your phone from the watch. So it's nice to have this feature preserved on iPhone. Next is general settings like language, speech rate and reset. Under it is Bixby where you will find all the commands that you can give to Bixby. This is just identical to the Android phone so Bixby is no different from an Android phone than an iPhone. Except on iPhone Bixby will not be able to make a call or send a text message. You can go in the Bixby settings to change language, voice response, voice wake up and general options like personalization, privacy and about Bixby. Next is accounts and backup where you can manage your Samsung accounts and backup as well as restore the watch. Lastly you will find tips and user manual about watch where you can check the storage and RAM available on the watch alongside informations like uh, device, legal, software and battery. And lastly it's the about Galaxy wearable mobile app. Now on the bottom tab you will find home and discover. Now on the Android app you had a separate app for the Galaxy Store but on iOS you can access the Galaxy Store from the Discover tab where you can find watch faces and apps. When you click on the view more you will be taken to the Galaxy Store where you can browse through all the apps and games or search for any particular. 
you can even find more settings like my apps and settings from here now let me end the video by showing you how the notifications look like and if we can answer a call from various apps and wrap this video up with my final say so in terms of notifications I was able to get all the notification from apps that I care about like WhatsApp, Viber, Facebook and other social media apps. However, I was not able to reply or interact with any of them. On the contrary, with an Android phone, I actually had an option to reply and interact even with emojis. I can even draw to type or get different input options like um, speech to text which I really miss out pairing this Active 2 from my Samsung smartphone to an iPhone. I also noticed that a longer message will not be displayed completely so I have to go back on my phone to read through a long message and the same implies to a received image or a file. In terms of calls, let me make a WhatsApp audio call and see if I can answer or decline from the watch directly. Now let's make a Viber call and see if it can work. Now lastly, let's make a regular call and see if it can work. So as you can see, getting and answering Bluetooth audio calls from various apps directly from the watch works like a charm. Due to the presence of a physical loudspeaker, you can talk directly from the Active 2 or if you have a wireless earbud paired to the Active 2, directly you can talk through them. In terms of music control, you can even control the phone's music player like this iTune directly from the watch. But you have to open the music app and select the phone icon over here. Once you do that, you can control the volume, change a track forward or backward, play and pause, you can even skip a track forward or backward by pressing and holding the forward or backward button which is really nice. Even the Bixby works great as it did with the Android phone except the ability to make a call or send a text message. So in my opinion the best experience of the Active 2 is with pairing it to a Samsung smartphone as a lot of apps like Samsung Pay, SmartThings, Control Camera, File Explorer will not be available if you pair the Active 2 with an iPhone. On top of it, you will not be able to reply or interact with any notification. So in my opinion, if you were to spend $300 plus to get this Active 2, better pair it up with a Samsung smartphone or you can go with a cheaper and an older Apple Watch Series 3 or 4 as Active 2 is not a cheap watch or you can go with the Fitbit Versa 2 or any Wear OS smart watch and I have done videos for all of them paired up with an iPhone which you can find in the Apple playlist linked at the end of this video. So that's it I really hope you found this video helpful if you did then please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video it really means a lot. Thank you so much for watching and take care I'll catch you guys in the next one.